rock stars, Eric Andres, your guitar sage here to learn Led Zeppelin's Trampled Underfoot. Oh, this is a good one. This is a classic, and it's really not that hard of a song. I, I know I always say that, but I promise you, this one's a lot of fun. There's some great alternate picking in here. Really, there's three basic parts that we need to know in this song, and two of those parts are very, very similar. So you could jam out to this whole song and uh, with minimal amount of effort. So, super cool tune. I'm gonna break it down for you. For those of you that need more help, my assistant Choopy here is going to help. This cat is obsessed with Led Zeppelin. So, um, she'll be hanging around probably for this lesson and could be, um, could be playing a lick or two. Maybe I'll solo over something she's doing, okay? Here we go. So, um, the basic lick, Oh, first off, obviously, I'm using a Les Paul. Today, I'm using it through a Fender Blues Junior that's been modded, and I'm running an OCD distortion pedal through that to give it a little bit more of a Marshall-type sound. Um, and, and I've got the, uh, let's see, I've got the volume on straight up in the middle. I got the drive about 2 o'clock, and I got the tone at about 2 o'clock, and my... Uh, bridge pickup is on, that's what I'm using here, and then as far as uh, the volume, I've got to cut back to about six or seven, just to cut back on the, on the distortion, to give it that kind of tone, instead of a really overdriven sound, okay? So, in fact, I'm going to cut that back even just a little bit more. Okay, so let's talk about love. Let's talk about love, all right? There's three licks in this, and here's the first lick, and it's going to go like this, and I'm going to slow it down for you, too. Okay, broken down really easy, very easily. Here's, here's how it's going to go. On the second and third string, you're going to put your first finger on the second fret, and you're going to hit those two strings together, and then you're going to hit the same strings on fret three. Now at the beginning of the song, or in the first verse, he's going, um, and then in the second verse he just goes, so you may hear a slight difference there, but really for the most part, there's a lot of clavinet, that's clavinet that you're hearing in the beginning of the song, and then really the clavinet is much louder than the guitar in this tune, so um, what you're hearing a lot is the clavinet, but if you listen carefully you'll hear this guitar part in there, and, um, and it does change from the first verse to the second verse. Okay, so again we're playing double stops, which are two notes at a time, going from the second to the third fret, on strings two and three or in the first verse, okay? And then we've got this lick. Easy enough. And so the, what you're gonna be doing here is you're gonna be playing on the third string, you're gonna be playing two frets two and three. And then on string four, you'll be playing Five, three, five on the fifth string, and then back up three, five again on the fourth string. So those two licks together. I'm doing alternate picking. Choopy would probably do economy picking. Economy picking is when you don't do strict alternate picking, but you um, you change as per. Now that's for another. That's a, for a whole nother lesson. We're not going to talk about that now. If you want to know more about that, check out the Unstoppable Guitar System link is below. Okay. So uh, again, so we got so to put everything together for here for lick one, we got. course we're muting that second double stop. We're just choking it real quick. 
It's a mute. I'm doing that with my left hand. If you would like to know more about muting, here on YouTube, type in Your Guitar Sage Muting, and I'll help you with some left and right hand um, muting techniques, okay? Okay. Here we go. Now, there's this part that happens. I'm going to show you the second part because basically if you know, well, I'll show you both parts. Basically, we have this thing that goes. And obviously, the first two times that he does this per verse, when I say he, I mean Jimmy, of course, Jimmy Page. And so the first time he does this, he goes. And then into this higher lick that we'll talk about in a second. But, so he does that for two, the first two times in each verse, he just does the first two. And then later on, the third time for each verse, he carries it up. And then into. So let's talk about this lick two, what we're calling lick two, that goes. You can almost think about these as almost like major chords. Okay, because um, basically what he's using is he's using this smaller part. If that's our bar chord, then. He's using that top part of the bar chord, and to be even stricter than that, he's just using strings three and one. Okay, so what you're gonna do here, this is gonna be at the sixth position, meaning your finger's behind the sixth fret, and you're gonna slide up from five like this. And then you're gonna hit this note twice, and then come back to this note again. So it's like this. That's all you have to remember because he does it four times going up the fretboard. So just get this lick down and you got the whole lick. Easy enough, right? Sure it is. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do that once here. Slide it up another whole step. Same thing, right? Slide it up one and a half steps and slide it up another whole step. So slowly, let's start over again here. Again. And so together, wow, that sounds hot, doesn't it? You can play that too, all right? In seven days, you can play guitar. <laughs> no, actually, you can play guitar in seven days. I'll teach you in one day to play guitar. You can learn chords and all that good stuff. To get proficient at it, it takes practice, right? And instruction. That's my job, instruction. So. Listen up and I'll help you with the instruction part. Okay, so that's that first lick there. Then we got into, now we're going into when it goes up and does that long one. Now I'm picking all that, but you could, you know, kind of hybrid or chicken pick. Um, it's gonna sound better with a pick, in my opinion. I-M-O, I-M-H-O. I am AO. Mio Mayo. Okay, so here we go. So after that lick, Chupi is going to help us with lick three. Okay, right? Lick three. She loves lick three, as do I. And it goes like this. Right? And so. This is very similar to what we were doing in the beginning, except we're doing this on strings one through four instead of two through five. Yeah. 
sounds more like a question to me. Yes, two through five. So right here at the, we're going to be at the 11th position. What does that mean, 11th position? You didn't explain that to me. I did. Remember when I said back here, I said sixth position? Yeah, same thing. 11th position means your first finger is behind the 11th fret. You learned something today. Now go tell your mom that you learned something. Okay, because you did. So this part's going to go. Um, so I lied to you. I said it was the 11th position. It's the 10th position. Fingers behind the 10th fret. You're going to bar strings one and two like this. Okay, and then you're going to put your second finger down on the 11th fret. So you're going to play two double stops. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. And then look at that, the lick's right underneath it. So right after you do this, you're going to come back and play single notes. Oh, sorry. So here we have 10, 11 on the second string. On the third string we have 12, 10, 12 on the fourth string, 10, 12 on the third string. doing vibrato there, but he, he doesn't really do vibrato there. So, whole thing should sound something like this. Then we're back into the verse again. Now, there's this one part in the song where, well, after doing this verse several times, you're just going to have to count it. There's this big old G chord. Right, right there is the clavinet part, so write it down. It's the clavinet part, in case you wanted to play the clavinet the clavinet, or if you didn't have a clavinet in your band, you just grab a microphone and go Okay, it works, babes like it, so just do it, all right? Just trust me, it's good, it works. So right there, and then you could go straight back into that, that, um, that lick. That's basically what the, um, the bass is still doing, and the guitar is, kind of whomping away on a wah-wah pedal, kind of hitting an F note, I believe. But you could, would sound fine to just totally stick back to that lick. That sort of thing, all right? Man, that's the whole tune. I told you to have this down. He's still in time for supper, right? Hey, if you like this video, hit thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you want more delicious, tasty licks in your YouTube box. Spay and neuter your kitties. What else? Oh, hey, if you like guitar, head on over to yourguitarstage.com, get the free ebook, put your name on the email newsletter list, and I will let you know when I have written a new book. I'm writing books all the time, and as my email follower, I send you that book for free. What? Did I say free? Yeah? Is that right? Were you doing this for free? Yeah? Okay. Kids are saying yes, we're doing that for free. I literally send you a book for free and I'll send you a cat. No, that's not true. I'm not gonna send you a cat. But also go to the unstoppableguitarsystem.com. This is a system that I've been working on for decades. It's together. There are hundreds of videos in there walking you step by step on how to play guitar. That's what I do, I teach guitar. It's what I've done pretty much my whole life along with some other things, but teaching guitar is what I do and what I do best. And I've assembled this in a step-by-step -step course for you. You can get into that course for $1. Who does that for one? I do, because I have a pick in my hand. $1, get in there, unstoppableguitarsystem.com. It's down below. You can see the link. If you have any questions about this video or any video, please hit me up here on Facebook or on Twitter, and I'll answer your questions there. I love to help people. That's my job. What else? 
Last tidbit of the day here, watch the future of food. I'm gonna start doing this in some of my videos at the end of the video. I'm gonna start telling you little tidbits of things that will change your life for the good. So check out the future of food. I'm Eric Andreas, your Guitar Sage. See ya.